In a season where KU became the winningest program in NCAA Division I men's basketball history, can they make history again tonight? The Jayhawks found themselves at a 15-point hole to North Carolina as the first half wound down. A comeback would be the largest ever in a championship game, and here's where it stands right now. Midway through the second half, North Carolina up by three. This was a one-point deficit. They had cut it to one just a few moments ago, so the comeback perhaps is on in New Orleans tonight. Before the game, a pep rally was held for the team, getting everybody in the spirit. New Orleans' famous House of Blues was flooded with crimson and blue, with fans gathering to cheer on their team. The KU cheerleaders fired up the crowd. Governor Laura Kelly was among the speakers, showing her support. The Jayhawks, as we mentioned, trying to mount that second half comeback. Let's check in with 13 Sports' Mitchell Summers. He is live outside the Superdome tonight. Yeah, the story is two radically different halves for the Jayhawks. The first, about as poor as it could have gone. Kansas at the six-minute left mark in the first half was tied 22-22. to From there, UNC outscored KU 18-3 to to close out the half. KU was down by 15 points heading the locker room. I'm sure Coach Self was some kind of upset heading into that locker room. We'll have to figure out what the heck is going on in that locker room speech because KU has had a completely different shift in the second half. They are currently down by just 1.48 to 47. They went on a 20 to 6 run out the gates to pull within one point. Still, there's a lot of basketball left to be played, folks. There's still about 11 and a half uh, minutes left of game time. So you're going to want to stay tuned to WIBW and all our social channels and our website, WIBW.com, as we give you an update. When this crazy game goes final, the Jayhawks are playing for it all in the national championship game. They're not losing up their opportunity just yet. It we'll would, have more coming up later on in the show. Reporting the, from the Superdome, Mitchell Summers, 13 News. It would be the largest championship game comeback since 1963, and that one was a buzzer beater. As Mitchell said, stay tuned, folks. All right, that early apprehension may be going away with a little more jubilation and also thousands of fans packing Mass Street to watch KU play Carolina. 13's Isaac French, he's there for us with a look right now at some of their watch parties. Fans lined up and down Mass Street just to get a chance and join in on one of these watch parties. If you take a look behind me here, you can actually see some of them who didn't make it in. They're watching the game through the window right here, but they say the atmosphere makes it all worth it. They started lining up early this afternoon, and with Mass Street closed down, the lines for several bars stretched out to the roadway as fans waited eagerly to get a good spot for tonight's game. Several places hosted large-scale watch parties, and the Granada had a giant screen indoors and outdoors so fans could really create that stadium like atmosphere and they agree that cheering along with other fans makes all of this worth it we haven't really experienced many like bad attitudes which is awesome everyone's just like super stoked um, the energy after we won in there like i went in there i was like whoo overworked and everything i got chills it was crazy like people were screaming people were grabbing me and screaming it was it was a lot but it was it was cool. I've never, I've never worked anything like this. We're going to be staying out here, continuing to give you post-game coverage on Mass Street. And we'll have a live look at Mass Street after the game tonight. And we'll have more on WIBW.com. Ralph. Thank you, Isaac. Live there at Logie's in Lawrence. And not only are the fans having watch parties there on Mass Street, but they're also inside watching the big game at the big house, Allen Fieldhouse. Raina Flores is there now talking with some of the fans on how win or lose they're thankful for the season KU is putting on. Raina? Ralph, Melissa, this season has been quite the roller coaster for KU, but they still ended up in the national championship. Earlier today, fans said even if KU doesn't take it all home tonight, they gave thousands of fans the ultimate experience. Fans rushed to Allen Fieldhouse earlier today to watch KU take on North Carolina in the national championship. Fans say this team has put on a show all season, battling to finish every game. And now one more game is all it takes. But KU fan says even if the trophy goes the other way, being a Jayhawk fan is an experience in itself. I'm quite lucky too, you know, because we're this is our first year at KU and we already get this amazing experience. Like, it's so awesome. Like the most most loyal fans in the world. I mean, loudest indoor stadium in the world for a reason. Um, and there's just nothing like it. I mean, you got probably five or ten, five to ten K in here, and you got another 80 on mass, so it's just insane. Win or lose, Jayhawks is always going to be my team, no matter what. Number one. We will have more fan reaction after the game. Ralph, Melissa, back to you.
Thank you, Raina. And it's 50-47, Carolina. So just down by three. Got a lot left to go. Melissa? Another basket scored, 50-49. So All a right. one-point game. This is blood pressure check time. Topeka Jayhawk fans are at Wings, etc. cheering on the team. We go next to 13's Danielle Martin live, where she found fans from both sides of the court. We'll be checking in in just a moment. But as we mentioned, Kansas is trying to make the largest championship comeback since 1963. That game ended on a buzzer beater. Let's head to Danielle Martin with the Topeka Jayhawk Club. Danielle? Melissa, fans are still here, as you can tell, rooting on the Jayhawks. They feel pretty good. The Topeka Jayhawk Club are returned back here to cheer on their home team, but they're not the only ones that have been here. Now, this is an annual tradition for the Jayhawk Club to gather together and continue the momentum by rooting for the Jayhawks. Now, Kansas fans say that they've been waiting 14 years for the Jayhawks to return home with a championship win. Now they say that this year is their time, but North Carolina fans say otherwise. But I caught up with both sides of the court and both of them are feeling the pressure of tonight's game. We'll win. I mean, I feel like we can do it. It's our time. I think this year is our year. Yeah, win or lose, it's just like Chiefs, it's the same thing, you know? It's all good, it's all good, even the years before. Close game so far, and KU is playing very, very well, and it's going to be a difficult game, but I'm just happy to be here. Now, Kansas fans are feeling pretty optimistic about this win. I mean, right now they're leading, so in case they and we have you covered on where you can get your game. Return back on our website at www.com. Melissa. And right, the reason for that cheer behind Danielle is because KU just went up, retaking the lead that they lost early on yeah. in the first half. We'll have a lot of post-game reaction on WIBW.com. It is happening right now. The Jayhawks are playing in the NCAA championship game against North Carolina, their third championship game under head coach Bill Self. But it's going to take some more work to finally cap this off with a win. The score right now is 65 to 65. It just tied up. Kansas started off hot like they normally did and like they did against Villanova. But the Tar Heels, they can run with the Jayhawks as well. North Carolina was up by 16 points in the first half at one point. If Kansas pulls it off, this will be the largest deficit overcome in the national championship game in history. They took back the lead the three from Remy Martin with 1023 left. Like we just saw, it's been back and forth. And we've been speaking with fans and past players in Chicago and New Orleans. Now we will look live inside Allen Fieldhouse where all of the fans are ramped up again. A tie game or Kansas is up by one right now. 68 to 67. It is back and forth and these fans, they've been rowdy from the jump as you saw Raina early on in news trying to speak over this crowd tonight. And we're going to show you some pictures of the game. We've got tip off in New Orleans. We're not allowed to show any of the footage of the game, so we found some pictures for you guys. We also have David McCormick with the big slam in this next picture. Look at that. David McCormick, he's been playing very well this game. And we also have Christian Brown with the layup off the fast break. Christian Brown also been very beneficial and very good in this game. They're going to need a little bit more from him as this game wraps up. And of course, we got head coach Bill Self leading the way. And before the Hall of Famer Bill Self took over the Jayhawks, it was another Hall of Fame coach holding the reins. Roy Williams coached for 15 years and is the third winningest coach in program history. He, of course, left in 2003 to go to the Tar Heels. It's been fantastic. It's been very emotional for me, to say the least. Kansas gave me a chance when uh, they probably didn't really want to hire me, but the athletic director and chancellor did, so I love that part of it. And then the players at North Carolina, other than Brady, I recruited every one of them and loved them. So it's a little emotional times, but uh, North Carolina is where I went to school. My wife went to school. Our children went to school. And everyone on the staff either played for me or coached with me. So that's who I'm pulling for, but Kansas is my second favorite. And one thing Roy Williams never brought to Lawrence was a title. Bill Self's been there and done that. And again, he's hoping to bring it in for a second time. And it's a special day for Player of the Year candidate Ochai Abaji. Today is Oach Park Day. There's reaction to David McCormick finding out about it. Oak Park High School has declared today as Oach Park Day in honor of Abaji, who also had his jersey retired at the school earlier this year. Oach Park, that was actually a nickname that I had in high school or that other schools would call like our school instead of just Oak Park. They would just call us Oach Park because everyone knew just me. Um, but no, it's, it's really special. Um, it's, it's actually a huge motivation, you know, seeing all those people and all the support that I get from my high school in Kansas City area. 
KU has retaken the lead, 70 wow. to 69. There is just under a minute remaining. As this game goes final, go be sure to go to wibw.com and our social media channels. We will be streaming some of the reaction, and uh, we aren't allowed to show anything from no, New Orleans no until the, the oh. broadcast is over. So hopefully, it'll be because KU's cutting down the nets. We'll see. And we will talk more about it tomorrow, and we will see you then. Good night. Good morning and welcome back into 13 News this morning. As you can see, we have on our Jayhawk <laughs> gear. I'm Melissa Wilds here with Doug Myers and Jared Broyles. You're facing the wrong way. <laughs> no, no. Well, I needed people to be able to see. I've got to like protect the front of my hair, but we are huge fans this yeah. morning. National yeah. Championship gear. You can get this at Dick's, this exact stuff, but Academy is also selling some things too. But to show off, mm -hmm. so you guys can get your starting at 7, I think is when their doors open this morning. So if you couldn't stay up last night to go get the gear, which yeah. is Totally understandable because right. that game was very late, but very worth staying up and watching. Swing I, by before uh, work, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. I, I would have uh, thrown a fit if that went into overtime. Oh my gosh, I was feeling the same yeah. way. I was like, come on, just secure this. When that right. guy stepped out of bounds, I was really yeah. nervous that they were going to hit some three and mm -hmm. tie it up and go to overtime. And I was like, I don't know if I can make it. Right. My exactly. eyes were already like uh, fluttering. <laughs> it was worth staying up for though, oh, right? Yeah. It was so <laughs> exciting. Oh. Great news for them. And obviously, we're going to have coverage throughout the day. We're yeah. going to be there as they arrive um, back yep. uh, today at uh, out at Forbes Field. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll carry live coverage there. We'll also be there live when they arrive back home in Lawrence to Allen Fieldhouse. So be sure and stay with us at WIBW.com. Also on air here on 13 News uh, throughout the day yeah. uh, to be able to watch your Jayhawks and celebrate. So even if you're at work, um, you can still log in and yeah. follow along with us. I think we'll have that Facebook Live and everything as You're well. You're right. So, yeah, definitely log in and check that out. And we may even have coverage throughout the week because we're going to be celebrating this for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hard earned, hot, hard fought for, and it's historic because yeah. it was the biggest win by the biggest margin. Mm -hmm. um, so, super exciting day um, in Jayhawk land for sure. Hey, is it exciting in Kansas, <laughs> Northeast Kansas, when it comes to weather, Doug? Well, it depends on what you consider exciting. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's break down on what to all right doug thanks well in case you live under a rock yeah. or maybe <laughs> slept through it the kansas jayhawks are national champions yeah 13 sports director marlia campbell begins our team coverage this morning from the superdome kansas woke up this morning national champions the jayhawks completed the biggest comeback in ncaa title game history taking out north carolina 72 69. That's good for their first national championship since 2008 and their fourth in program history. This is a 2022 miracle. The top seeded Jayhawks found themselves down 16 to North Carolina early in Monday's NCAA title game. Heading into the locker room, David McCormick was smiling. I'm like, why are you smiling, dude? Like, we're down 15. Uh, and he's telling me, like, man, like, keep your head up, like, keep going. We'll be all right. We've been here before. And I'm like, man, I don't know if I've ever been here before. You know? <laughs> Now 15 in national championship, I've definitely never been there. The rest is history. KU would go on to win 72 to 69 for their fourth national championship and first since 2008. These don't fall off trees. I mean, they're they're hard to get, and so the first one we got, and it was great and everything, and we've knocked on the door since. But haven't been able to punch it, so to speak. Nobody's ever put pressure on me. We got to win another one. But I think I put pressure on myself knowing that this place deserves more than what we want. Five Jayhawks scored in double figures, led by McCormick and Jalen Wilson with 15. Ochai Abaji was named the most outstanding player of the tournament. Winning the most outstanding player of this, uh, I don't really care because we won the national championship. Um, but if I really had a most outstanding player throughout the whole entire, you know, final four, it would be David. Um, he's been my guy. We got here, we got here, you know, at the same time. And, um, you know, these goals and these dreams, you know, that we're living right now, we never would have thought of, you know, uh, when we first stepped foot on campus. The comeback is the largest ever in NCAA title game history. A storybook season capped off by the perfect final chapter. It'll be special to win regardless, uh, but to win when your team had to fight and come back the way they did uh, uh, and show that much grit uh, makes this one uh, off the charts. I, I thought this would be good 
and this is a heck of a lot better than I thought it would be. This is the second time confetti has rained down on Bill Self's teams in the NCAA tournament. He is now the first coach at Kansas to win not one, but two titles. In New Orleans, Marlia Campbell, 13 sports. So exciting for him and that whole team. Now back at home, fans packed Allen Fieldhouse to watch last night's game, and 13's Raina Flores spoke to a few after to get their thoughts on the win. I can't believe it. I mean, it's so unreal right now. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I just came out here with a couple friends looking for a good night, and I remember that KU is meant for this. This is insane. This is my third game at Allen Fieldhouse. It's crazy. We love it. We're Natty Champs. We're on top. We're number one. It was destined to happen. After a tough battle with the Tar Heels, KU was able to bring home the trophy to Lawrence. Fans say one thing contributed to this win. The chemistry was there. They loved each other. They loved it. Just as much as they loved winning, they loved each other, and they made it happen. It's chemistry, team chemistry. I mean, Remy Martin came in as a fifth-year senior, and we still got a team together, and we won, and we, we had everything on our side. We're a family. We won, and that's all. I mean, just, we, we're, they're, they're family. They're family, and we love them so much. Fans say this championship title means more this year. I mean, we do this for every single person up there, every single person that couldn't get up there. It's the best fan base in the world. I've been a Jayhawk since my first day alive. I haven't felt this happy in a long, long time. I mean, I love this place. In Lawrence, Reina Flores, 13 News. And we love seeing the energy from those fans. We'll have more coverage when KU returns back from New Orleans today online and in our newscast tonight. The Kansas Jayhawks are national champions. We can't say it enough no, today. We can't. New Orleans was packed with Jayhawks fans ready to celebrate last night. Yeah, and some special Kansas legends were even there to welcome the newest legends into their club. Their team's Mitchell Summers has more. The confetti rains from the sky as the Jayhawks won their first national championship since 2008, a milestone moment in Kansas history. All the legends were on hand to cheer on these Jayhawks. Americans. Man, listen, I've been in a championship level at all levels, high school, junior high school, college, NBA. But then to win this tonight, man, I feel like I won it tonight, man. Man, it's an unbelievable feeling. I came in with Ochai, Dave, you know, seeing them get it done, it's just a, uh, it's a blessing. Hall of Famers. It means everything for the KU family. You see, they always keep the former players involved. We come here, the tradition stays alive. I'm so happy for Coach Self keeping the tradition alive, man. These players, they earn every bit of this moment. We're just proud of them. That's why we're here. Even the shot. Greatest feeling in the world. Uh, you know, we went through this in 2008. And to be able to come here and see this again and be able to celebrate with the team, you know, it's a great accomplishment. Several generations of K legends were witnesses to history. I'm glad they got it done. It means a lot. They had a lot of data. A lot of people said they couldn't do it. Same with us. So it's, it's just good to see them come out and be able to get a win like we did. They saw their beloved coach, Bill Self, win his second national championship, becoming the first ever Kansas coach to do so. It's two and count. It ain't the last one. It ain't the last one. He's one of the greatest coaches in basketball history. We all know that. He came here. He had a sight. To, to have this program back on top, and that's what he's did. The legends welcomed to their club the newest champions. Look at me. I felt like I played and I won. That's how we feel about the players. The Jayhawks will return to Lawrence, where there's a massive party waiting for them of all these Kansas fans waiting to embrace their new NCAA champions. We'll have more information for you on our website, WIBW.com. Reporting from the Superdome, Mitchell Summers, 13 Sports. And speaking of fans, thousands of them took to Mass Street in Lawrence to celebrate last night's win. 13's Isaac French was there in the middle of it all and gives us a look. Thousands of fans packed into Mass Street bars and counted down the final seconds together. And then the floodgates opened. Fans celebrating KU's national championship say being down in the first half made this win even sweeter. I was so down. 
I knew we could do it, though. We've come back from bigger deficits because we are that team. Ochai is that guy. We're, we're, we're that school. We are that school. I was a little worried, but I felt like we had it, so I didn't stress about it too much. I knew we were a second-half team, so I, I knew we had it. Since 2012, we were waiting for a comeback. We're here, and we're the national champions, baby. Let's go! And they agree that there is no better community to celebrate with than Lawrence. The Lawrence community is just really strong. You know, it's been a long two years with the pandemic and everything. It's just nice to be able to come together as a community and embrace this, uh, something that we all love together. So, as a whole union. Um, Rock Chalk, Jay Hawk. Go yeah. get you. That's Represent the, Rock Chalk all day, baby. Yes, sir. That's going to be the better day to be a Jay Hawk than today. I promise you that. I promise you that. Can't lie to him, man. Can't lie to him. In Lawrence, Isaac French, 13 News. Oh, hey, you up there. What did you think about the game? It was amazing. It was the greatest game I've ever seen in my life. So much excitement in Lawrence, even fans in trees. You got to love it. Now, many fans can now have a chance to get a new championship shirt. You can go to Academy. Their doors will open at 9 this morning. And also, Dick Sporting Goods has gear with select stores opening at 7 a.m. And on uh, Tulips at Twilight in the Oktoberfest, and now 13 years before continues with live coverage from Memorial Stadium. The national champion Kansas Jayhawks have arrived there by their charter bus in Lawrence. Raina Flores is there live for us as we continue with the Red Couch Show and our live coverage from Jayhawk Territory. Take it away, guys. So we have thousands of fans in the stands right now. We have Baby J, we have Big J, but all that's left is for the players to exit the buses. They just pulled up like two minutes ago. And we have the cheerleaders and the dancers on the field. And we're just waiting for the big entrance for the 2022 National Championship team. Let's see what's going on over there. But right now we have thousands of fans just waiting. It's a little windy and a couple sprinkles of rain, but that didn't keep them from wanting to see the team. They are just unloading the buses right now, so it'd be very shortly they will be out. like they are starting to come out the bus as you can hear the crowd is cheering that means they see someone coming out they just came from Topeka where they were welcomed by lots of fans over there and then they came straight from Topeka to Lawrence and wow they just came back to thousands and thousands of people just waiting for them after that big game and that huge comeback from yesterday.
the crowd is going crazy. We have Remy Martin right here in the front. Christian Brown, Jalen Wilson, Ochai Baji holding the trophy, and Mitch Lightfoot. And of course, we have Bill Self in the back. David McCormick in the middle. Now let's take a look to see if they have any words to say. Now to welcome our national champion film. It's my pleasure to introduce our athletic director. Come on, Travis. What's going on, how are you feeling? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very, very, very brief because you guys came here to support this. Two, two points real quick. This is the best fan base, the best support base in America. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. We felt the love and the passion and the support down in New Orleans. These guys played for you, left it all out there, emptied the tank to bring this trophy back to Lawrence where it belongs. All right, so that's message number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Number two. All right, message number two, real quick. We've known something here in Lawrence for almost 20 years. We've known we've had the best men's basketball coach in the country, haven't we? Well, guess what? The rest of the world knows now. Bill Self, best head coach of the country. Let's hear from Bill. Hey, how about your Jayhawk right there? Hey, thanks so much for coming out today. As Travis said, we do have the best fan base anywhere in America. We obviously had about five to 10,000 down there in New Orleans with us as well. And it was unbelievable. It was an unbelievable weekend. The guys played absolutely great, minus the first 20 minutes of the game yesterday. Hey, but, but we're, so, we're so proud and, and uh, you know, I think a lot, and I know our coaches do, is how cool is it to coach at such a, you know, tradition-rich place? How cool is it to coach young men that give you, give us everything every day? But I was just thinking, how much fun is it for you to love on these guys right now? Let's go. All right. Hey, so we're, we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have eight guys say something real quick, all right? And the guy that speaks can pass it on to the next guy. We'll start with uh, uh, probably uh, the most popular reserve, the most popular six man. And you guys might as well go ahead and start chanting his name, Remy. Hey, we don't we don't win it without this dude right here, Remy Martin. All right, all right. Um, you know, I guys, I talked to you guys uh, on, on senior night. Um, you know, last time I was gonna be in uh, Allen Field House, and um, you know, I I said that I appreciated everybody. Um, you know, in this community, you guys mean the world to me. Um, and, and now that I get to come back here and talk to you guys again, um, being a national championship with these guys and with you guys has been amazing. And I, and I just want to say thank you all again. Um, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough journey, ups and downs, but 
you know, everybody stuck together. And, you know, this is what Jayhawk basketball is all about, is bringing a, a national championship back to you guys. So thank you. All right, next, I want you guys, we want you guys to hear from the president of the triangle. What's that, the wheel, the bull, and, and the hawk? championship we came here to put a banner up in those rafters and that's exactly what we did we all stuck in pack, baby hey hey when, when, you, when you're down 15 and a half time to a, a great team it doesn't look great obviously but when you got a little guy out front that can hawk the ball like that and totally change the game just with the defense give it up for Dewan Harris <laughs> What's up, y'all? I just want to say thank you for coming us all year. You know, we wanted the big win for y'all to come back. You know, we had a great coaching staff, uh, great teammates. You know, I, we couldn't do it. I couldn't do it without them. I just want to say thank y'all. Man, a few words. Ended with 15. Jalen Wilson. Yeah. Nah, I just I want to say thank y'all for supporting us throughout the ups and downs this season, especially myself. You know, y'all always show me love, show the team love. Uh, no matter what was going on, y'all always support us night in and night out. Like I said, y'all the best fans in the world. I love y'all. You know, this means so much to us, but it means so much more bringing it back to y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Jay Hill. Next, we've had the man come up that had 12 points, 12 rebounds. He's certainly the, probably as, as good a loose ball guy, rebounder, and toughest guy that we have, or that's pretty equal. I guess we're all pretty tough. Give it up for Christian Brown. What's up, y'all? Uh, I, don't, I don't got much to say, but I just want to thank you guys, uh, you know, for coming out and supporting us every game. You know, it means the world to us. Uh, when we do this stuff for y'all, uh, we got a long week ahead of us, y'all, so get ready. He's referring to study long weeks ahead of us. Okay. Who got next? Huh? You know All right. This guy had a decent year. First team All-American, Big 12 player of the year. Big 12 champion, Big 12 tournament champion. National champion. And in all honesty, there's only one player that I know of that's had a decorated year as this guy has in the history of Kansas basketball. Give it up for your man, Oshai Abadji. We're good, we're good. Man, I, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, we did this like, like everyone else is saying, we did this for y'all. Um, we had ups and downs this season. We had a really special team. Really special uh, coaching staff, couldn't be more thankful. And you know, when I made my decision to come back this year, this is, a, this is how I envision it. So it's great. We got helicopters up in the air. Everybody, I just feel the energy. So uh, now, nah, rock talk. The Jayhawks have landed. Fans filled Topeka Regional Airport as the national champions made their way home. 13's Isaac French begins our team coverage with a look tonight. Isaac. <laughs> 
Melissa, hundreds packed into the terminal to give the Jayhawks a homecoming party as they flew back from New Orleans. Players made their way through the terminal as the Jayhawk pep band played and the crowd cheered. They carried the trophy through while interacting with fans and signing autographs. Each player wearing a piece of the net cut down after their championship win. Coach Self and several of the players said that Topeka never fails to show out. He has always supported us so well. And and, uh, you know, when we won it, no way, it was just like this also. So I knew there'd be a good turnout. Oh, it's amazing. We have the best fans in the nation. They come out and support every time. So it's really fun to be here with everybody. Dream come true. The dream come true, man. And Coach Bill Self was the last one on the bus, making sure everyone, every fan, got his autograph or a picture. Isaac face to face with the head man. Isaac, thank you and great job this afternoon at the airport. The celebration then continued right down the interstate as the team held a rally in Memorial Stadium on the KU campus. And Raina Flores is live from the stadium. Raina, what did you see? Ralph Memorial Stadium may look empty right now, but I can assure you about an hour ago, that was not the case. Thousands of fans waited the windy and chilly weather just to welcome back the championship team. The first off the bat, bus was the players and then they followed by Bill Self. He started off the speeches by thanking the community and all the fans for sticking with the, the team through thick and thin. And then Remy Martin, Jalen Wilson and Ochai also had speeches thanking the fans as well, saying they couldn't be where they were without them. We'll have reactions from the players and some fans later tonight. Ralph, Melissa. Okay. Raina, thank you for that. Also, the fans were lining up very early today to get their national championship gear. Oh, those caps on those Jayhawks, those look amazing. 13's Danielle Martin tells us what's still out there on the shelves tonight. Danielle? Ralph, there's plenty Jayhawk fans can choose from a variety of options. Academy, Dix, and Rally House all had championship gear in stock this morning, and it was selling pretty fast. Faithful fans to Academy to get the gear celebrating the Kansas 2022 National Championship victory over the North Carolina Tar Heels. Excited to be here and waiting for the store to open so I can get my National Championship shirt. The store opened at 9 and fans lined up well ahead of that time. And I wanted my National Championship shirt today, not in two weeks. <laughs> I could have ordered it online, but it was too expensive. I'm wanting to get some polo shirts, but I'll probably have to get that online. But uh, at least I've got something for my wife and I. Over at Rally House, fans lined up before the championship apparel arrived. So about 9.30 is when we received them, and we had a line starting at 7 o'clock this morning. By the time they opened the boxes, the line snaked throughout the entire store. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to wait or not. I might do it online. Just because we had so many people show up, I wanted to be fair to everybody who got here at early. And compared to the people who are walking in now, I just wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to get what they wanted. A little line didn't matter to some KU fans who say they've waited 14 years for this. So I need my KU gear before I get home. I think that is just the reaction that it's such a wonderful thing to be champions and, uh, you know, to have 2022 20, champions of NCAA. It's just an amazing thing, and guys, you just want to be part of it. Show your pride, show your Jayhawk enthusiasm, and it's just something that, you know, whenever I travel, you got to wear your Jayhawk gear and show you're a Jayhawk fan and a Jayhawk alumni. So KU fans, don't worry. There's plenty of gear for everyone to grab. National Championship gear is also available at Academy later this week in Dick's Sporting Goods. Melissa. A lot of fans rushing to get the new gear. Thank you so much, Danielle. Earlier this afternoon and this evening, thousands of fans waited to greet them at Memorial Stadium. That's where we start tonight at 10. If you were live with us this afternoon, 13's Raina Flores was there. And Raina, you had the chance to hear from some of the players and Coach Bill Self about the Big W. Ralph, it was a windy day in Lawrence earlier, but that didn't stop fans from pouring into the stadium, waiting to welcome back the team properly. <laughs> Fans took to the stands of Memorial Stadium to congratulate the 2022 NCAA National Champions. Well, we're just here to cheer on our boys. Um, congratulate them for all the hard work they gave. Um, we're just proud of them. They achieved their goals. They helped us look good. Um, helped Kansas.
Red. While fans say the players put the University of Kansas on the map, the players would say the fans are as large a part of the success as they are. And I, ju and I just want to say thank you all again. Um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a tough journey, ups and downs, but, you know, everybody stuck together. And, you know, this is what Jayhawk basketball is all about, is bringing a, a national championship back to you guys. So thank you. You know, y'all always show me love. Show the team love. Uh, no matter what was going on, y'all always support us night in and night out. Like I say, y'all the best fans in the world. I love y'all. You know, this means so much to us, but it means so much more bringing it back to y'all. Thank you. And I, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. In the crowd, a group held a sign saying KU basketball has taught them to never give up. Bill Self says this is a perfect example of what KU basketball stands for. I would say uh, this team has been pretty resilient. Uh, you know, we said we, you know, same thing in 08. You know, the the the, the two greatest comebacks uh, in the history of the NCAA finals was provided by the Kansas Jayhawks. This is why you you go to a school like Kansas. Is to, is, you know, there's no guarantee that these things will happen. But there's always a chance, and, and we've had numerous chances, and to, and to punch the ticket twice, it's, it's pretty special. Uh, we love you guys. Rock Chalk. There are plans for a parade for the Jayhawks tentatively this Saturday. KU Athletics say they will expect to release official details tomorrow. Ralph. Raina, thank you. Very cool to be there and to share that with you tonight. Now, before that celebration in Lawrence, there were hundreds of fans who were inside the terminal of Topeka Regional Airport to first welcome the Jayhawks home. The team landed in Topeka at around 3 this afternoon. 13th Isaac French was there and has a look for you at that part of it. Isaac? Yeah, that's right, Ralph. A lot of these fans have been out there welcoming home the Jayhawks from tournament games for years, but this time they welcomed home to national champions. The cheers from the championship game carried over into the Jayhawks homecoming. As the team made their way through the terminal, Ochai Abaji carried the trophy with pride. I know it feels great, great holding this. Um, this is what we work for all year, for real. Each player wearing a piece of the net cut down after the championship win made sure to stop by and sign autographs for fans. Be a blessing, a special moment. Be much for my team too, man. That'd be a blessing. It's amazing. We have the best fans in the nation. They come out and support every time. So it's really fun to be here with everybody. But great, man. We're just trying to, trying to sign all the guests for everybody. They're great. We love them. I feel blessed. I feel honored that these people came out and, you know, showed their support and love. They've been consistent throughout the whole year. And I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy for, you know, Kansas in, in general. Coach Self and several of the players say Topeka never fails to make them feel loved. Topeka's always supported us so well. And, and uh, you know, when we won it in 08, it was just like this also. So I knew there'd be a good turnout. Dream come true. Dream come true, man. Coach Bill Self was the last one on the bus, making sure every fan got his autograph or a picture. Thank you so much, Isaac. Now, the team's arrival and subsequent rally, while pretty full today, were fairly tame compared to the streets of Lawrence last night. Isaac was there for that, too. Lawrence police estimate about 70,000 people took to the streets in the Jayhawks' hometown after that score went final. Quite the accomplishment when you consider the town's population. Checks out near 96,000 at last check. But the party was safe for the most part. Lawrence police reported only three arrests and no serious injuries. Fans were lining up early this morning to get their national championship gear. Academy, Dix, and Rally House all had new KU items in stock this morning, and it was selling fast. This was the line outside Academy Sports and Outdoors as they were opening at 9 a.m. Over at Rally House, by the time they opened the boxes that came in, the line had snaked throughout their store. A little line didn't matter to some KU fans, though. They say they have waited 14 years for this. All right. I wanted my national championship shirt today, not in two weeks. <laughs> I could have ordered it online. I think that is just the reaction that it's such a wonderful thing to be champions. You know, to have 2022 20, champions of NCAA, it's just an amazing thing. And guys, you just want to be part of it. Area stores say they expect to continue getting new items throughout the week.